I'm Jai and I'm the garden manager for Edible Campus UNC. This is our first video installment for Earth Week and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to dry herbs for tea from home. I'm going to be using Mountain Mint from our Davis beds, but you can use effectively any herb for this and some of our highest recommended herbs for tea are going to be listed in the description below. So if you pick mint directly from a garden, this is probably what it's going to look like. And the first thing you're going to want to do is take the leaves off of their stem. Removing the leaves first is important because the stem retains a lot of water. So in order for the leaves to dry evenly, you're going to want to pluck them from the stem before placing them in the paper bag to dry. So now that all your leaves are removed from their stems, now's the time to put them in a paper bag. This Trader Joe's bag is all that I have on hand, but a smaller paper bag will definitely do. All you're gonna wanna do is place them in the paper bag, seal it up, and place it in the trunk of your car. And check back after a few days, and hopefully you'll have some nice dried leaves. Uh, as you can see in here, there have been a few other herbs added into it to give the tea a little more depth of flavor, and you can do this with pretty much anything else you want to dry. So that's how you make your own tea. It's a really fun and generally hands-off process that you can do relatively easily. And you can do this with herbs you buy at your local grocery store, farmer's market, or better yet, grow yourself. If you aren't comfortable yet growing, starting, or maintaining your own plants, just wait for Hannah and Kyle's videos later this week to teach you how to do just that. And stay healthy and don't forget to share with Edible Campus what you're doing to celebrate Earth Week from home.